So what we need to understand is that. Five six two two seven twenty first and Clearfield Street. Fires reported twenty first on Lebanon Street. Reports for the building. A warehouse. Fires in Clearfield Street. Fires reported twenty first and Lebanon Street. Reports to be a building. A warehouse. The program launched in 2006 here at Randolph, and it was Commissioner Lloyd Ayers' project. A typical day simulation, we did CPR training, a patient having difficulty breathing, them being placed on a non-rebreather oxygen. Being placed on the stretcher, going into the ambulance, and on the fire side, simulated that they responded to a call, pulled hose lines, put up ladders, so everything that they get taught throughout the year is pretty much what we simulated today. It's really cool that the students get an opportunity to take a advantage of such a program like this. They're, they're gonna be farther along faster uh, than, than I would have been taking in my route. So I applaud them for taking this class, taking this, uh, this curriculum, um, and I think they're gonna do really, really well. I joined the program because it looks like it was fun. It is very scary when I'm putting up ladders, pulling these hose lines. You just have to keep telling yourself, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I will be in my career before I get out of high school. I am a former student here at Randolph. I started the program in 2006 and I graduated in 2010. I've been an EMT since 2009, um, but I've been with the Philadelphia Fire Department since 2015. I initially joined the Fire and EMS Academy here because honestly, I just wanted a different path in my life. Where I'm from, you can go down one lane and hit a wall, and I knew that's not what I wanted for my life. Um, this program, I believe, was going to open up a way for me to be successful. So much is given, much is required. It is very, very cool, and I feel very fortunate to be back here as an instructor because I get to do the very thing that so many of my instructors did with me, which was pour into a life of a young person who wanted a positive outlook on life that went way beyond the EMS or fire classroom, and I'm able to help them develop as citizens. And and I always say I'm here for the person. I develop the person and then that makes you the successful EMR, EMT, firefighter, paramedic, whatever your life term goal is. So I'm fortunate to do so.